Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to put in a overlay icon on the taskbar. An overlay icon is that yellow circle you're seeing there on the, on that taskbar icon. Um, just just a few things before we get started. Um, you have to add add a reference to Windows API Code Pack dot shell. Um, I'll just show you where to find that. Go to where you saved the Windows API Code Pack. Go into the sources source folder. Um, Windows API Code Pack or not? Let's go back. Um, oops, let's go into binaries and find the DLL file called Microsoft Windows API Code Pack dot shell and just copy that file over to your project directory. I have mine open right here, so we'll just paste that in there. And also, I've gone ahead and downloaded three icons from Iconspedia, just to show you, just to show this in action. Oops. Okay. Um, and I've also added the added the icon references to my project. And we're going to add the reference to the Windows API Code Pack shell thing now. So right-click on references, go add reference. Then go to Browse, then find the Windows API Code Pack dot shell DLL that we just copied over. Now we've got that. Now go to your using area, then put in a new reference to Microsoft dot Windows API Code Pack dot taskbar and now we're going to create a new instance of the taskbar manager class so let's do that we're just going to type in taskbar manager we'll just call ours taskbar and we'll set it to taskbar manager dot oops dot instance and that's all good. Now I've also set up three icons called play, pause and stop. This is just getting the icons from my references down here. This is in a, a tutorial on how to do this, so here's just the code if you only if you don't know how to do it already. Okay. Now my button one is used to play play um the video file so we we're, we're gonna put it put in the play icon here to do that we're just gonna, we're just gonna go taskbar dot set overlay icon and your know, icon so my icon is the play icon it's called play and a string to say what the icon represents I'll just type in playing and we'll end that and my second icon which is button 2 it's the pause icon we'll go taskbar manager oops taskbar dot set overlay icon and we'll set it to pause and also the text We'll just copy this over for the stop icon, which is my button three. Also, if you don't recognize this, this is what I've done in the, one of my earlier tutorials. It was the how to make a simple video player in WPF, and this is just pretty much that project. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. Um, I'll just put in the video file so we can see what's going on. And let's get this tool up to show you. This is just something I found on the internet. It's just showing what it's just showing a magnified version of my taskbar. So let's have a look at the, look at this. It works. 
perfectly. As you can see, the stop button appeared when I press the stop bu button. The pause icon appeared when I press the pause bu button, and the play icon appeared when I press the play button. Um, one thing about this uh, is that on the taskbar, the user has to use large icons. If they use small icons, it's not going to work. So here's the option for the small icons. Make sure you have that unchecked when you're testing this. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.